Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, Donald J. Trump just exposed the truth about Letitia James. We have a massive bombshell of a video today about the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, which in my opinion, this whole trial makes no sense to me, okay? Donald Trump has done so much good for New York. He uh, built Trump Tower. He really re-transformed, reinvigorated, and reinstilled what New York, uh, you know, the goodness of New York. And now they're going after him. And Donald Trump, I mean, he's the man who has done such great real estate deals. He's even inspired myself to get into real estate. Donald Trump is the man when it comes to real estate and Judge Engeron and Letitia James are, you know, going after Donald John Trump and let's just say Donald Trump, you guys do not want to miss this. And not only that, but Jim Jordan just exposed the truth about Letitia James as well. So they're coming at the at her from every angle. Don't worry, uh, you know, the things are looking really good for Donald J. Trump. And now, before we get started, we're going to read the Bible because God comes first. Amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that, that God comes first. That's what we do on my show. We share the truth, we read the Bible, and boy, oh boy, do we drink our coffee. <laughs> I am drinking a nice cup of joe. Reading the Bible, sharing the truth with you all. Life can't get much better than that. <laughs> all right, so let's pray and read from the Bible and then we'll get started, okay? This is one of my favorite, favorite Bible verses from the book of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Amen. Comment amen down below. And this actually, while I was reading this today, it kind of reminded me of the spiritual battle that I believe we're having in our nation between good and evil, in our world, and good and evil. I mean, you take a look at what's going on in Israel, take a look at what's going on with Donald J. Trump. I think Donald Trump, he does have the armor of God. What is the armor of God? It's the Bible, right? And what do we know about Donald J. Trump? It's that he reads the Bible. Look at this beautiful clip of Donald Trump. Most importantly, I brought my Bible. Donald J. Trump, he's walk, he walks around with a Bible. Maybe that's his secret, kind of his little secret um, that he brings around. And, you know, his, his good luck charm, if you will. And it's a Bible that his mom gave to him. How special is that? The news don't share this. Okay. And, you know, it's First Presbyterian Church, Jamaica, and this was written by my mother with my name, with my, this was a long time ago, with my name, with my address, with everything. In case I lost it, somebody would return it. You know, in the old days, if you lost something, they returned it. Today, a little bit less so. <laughs> but I, I saw this and I said, I have to bring it and just show it because it brings back so many memories. We're going to have a very interesting... I love that. So I wanted to share what's going on with Letitia James. 
So Donald Trump raged at Letitia James, who is now seeking $370 million in legal case. Donald Trump's actually, uh, he kind of exposed the truth with Fannie Willis too. Fannie Willis just got caught. Well, allegedly, uh, Donald, what a, somebody uh, uh, is accusing Fannie Willis with having, um, let's just say, an intimate relationship with somebody that she hired. And this person is, uh, let's just say, Fannie Willis, they're trying to now throw out this whole case. And this person, this Fulton County prosecutor that Fannie Willis hired, met with Joe Biden twice this in 2022 before charging Trump. You cannot make this up, my friends. So Donald J. Trump has launched a furious online attack on Letitia James after the New York Attorney General said she now wants the former president to be fined $370 million plus interest in his civil fraud case in the state. Donald J. Trump, in all block capitals, Trump branded James totally corrupt without providing any supporting evidence. <laughs> I love the news always says, yeah, Trump has no, uh, no supporting evidence. Argued the case should never have been brought in against, they should pay me. <laughs> How funny would that be? You know, Trump did write the book, The Art of the Deal. Maybe Trump will, uh, that would be funny if New York ends, ends up having to pay Trump. What, what was the whole case with the Stormy Daniels thing? Didn't Trump, uh, how did the Stormy Daniels thing end up? I thought Stormy Daniels had to pay Trump. I could be wrong. Or did Trump, Trump lose that one? I don't remember. I remember one of these cases, like one of them ha had to end up paying Trump. Um, but yeah, anyways. Maybe that was with um, E. Jean Carroll, I forget. But anyways, I wanted to play this uh, video that Trump released. Trump just released against Judge Angaron and Leticia James, who this woman I don't like at all. And you'll see why in a second. Almost all experts and legal analysts have stated for all to see that the litigation before Judge Angaron is a sham and a disgrace, a dark time in the New York judicial history. It's a very fabled history, mostly good, but this is a very bad time. The Attorney General, Letitia James, is a racist scoundrel who thinks she has total power and control over the judge. And we'll see if the judge is going to do the right thing. But so far, it's been a very unfair witch hunt, and the whole country is watching Almost all experts. We are all watching. We're watching you, Letitia James. We are watching. So listen to this. Trump blasted the New York Attorney General. Th this makes no sense to me. Judge Arthur Engeron already ruled Trump liable for fraud in the case before the trial even started. His company is accused of engaging in decades of fraud by inflating and, de and deflating Oh wow, inflating and deflating the value of his assets to pay less in taxes and receive better insurance coverage. Yeah, so he inflated and deflated. It's, it's there. He's blown up a balloon, basically. Trump said, the case should have never been brought and should have never been allowed. I have no rights. Trump has complained he's not eligible for a jury in the case and said a, a gag order barring him from smearing court staff is unfair. James brought the civil case last fall, suing the former president, his adult son, Eric and Donald Trump Jr., along with Alan Weisselberg and Jeffrey McConney. Um, yeah, Engeron's decision effectively strips Trump of some of his business licenses and has the potential to take away some of his property, such as Trump Tower in New York and Mar-a-Lago in Florida? Are you serious? They could actually take away Mar-a-Lago? No, I still haven't been to Mar-a-Lago. It's my life dream to go there one day. I still need to go. <laughs> Judge Engaron, please don't take Mar-a-Lago from Trump. Because obviously it wouldn't be the same without Trump. I mean, people aren't going to go there after Trump leaves. What, Letitia James is going <laughs> to run Mar-a-Lago now? <laughs> no, I want to go to Mar-a-Lago. I really, really do. Um, now, Jim Jordan went after 
Letitia James. I want to share this. Jim Jordan. Look at, let's look at this. He shared this on Twitter. Who's the house, who's the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, by the way. So Jim Jordan, he has a lot of power and he's one of the major, major leaders, Republican leaders in Congress. He said this, Letitia James is relying on Michael Cohen, a known and convicted liar, to take down Trump. Real America sees right through it. So Michael Cohen, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pretty sure he he went to jail, right? Um, he's he served. Uh, he gosh, did Michael Cohen go to jail? I I should really uh, have done my research before this. <laughs> yeah, he did complete his sentence. Yeah, he did go to jail. I I uh, he uh, Michael Cohen ends prison term after Trump related crimes. He he went to jail for three three years, and Letitia James. Listen to this. Testifies against Trump in this fraud trial. I don't get it. Letitia James is calling on this guy who's a convicted liar and he was in prison for three years to, oh, he's going to one, he's going to expose the truth about Trump. In a courtroom showdown five years in the making, Donald Trump's fixer turned foe, Michael Cohen. Yeah, Michael Cohen used to, I believe, work for Trump and then now he just hates Trump. He testified that he worked to boost the supposed value of the former president's assets to whatever number Trump told us to. I, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get how Cohen, you know, is able to testify against Trump and that Letitia James is, you know, using him for that. And, and now listen to this in this latest update with Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen lose, lost an appeal in a quest to revive his retaliation lawsuit against Trump. So Michael Cohen tried to revive a lawsuit against Trump uh, and a federal appeals court rejected it. They, he, uh, uh, basically a tell-all book, which was critical of the former president, Michael Cohen released a book, a tell-all of, of Trump. It's like, dude, you go to jail for three years, you work for Trump, now you hate Trump, you go to jail, you go to prison, three years, and now, now you're really releasing a book, and now you're trying to sue Trump. And it's like, and now Letitia James is using him, and according to Jim Jordan, is relying on Michael Cohen. Le Jim Jordan says Letitia James is relying on Michael Cohen. Real America sees right through it, Jim Jordan says. Um, and now Trump shared this video of Letitia James like, you know, calling, calling her racist and stuff. And Trump says, does anybody think I can be given a fair trial in New York by this, by this horrible person? And if you can't tell, um, she seems slightly, uh, critic. She seems slightly, she seems like she slightly dislikes Donald Trump. Maybe you guys can tell a little bit. And this is the New York attorney general who was, uh, just recently brought into her position. Let's take a look. Do you think this is a fair uh, New York Attorney General or an unbiased one? Here we go. Me, venomous. We will fight back to your attempt to bring Trumpism to New York City. He's called me disgraceful. I don't, I don't know where where they find those people to show up to these Letitia James rallies. These anti-Trump, hate Trump, hey, I'm Letitia James rallies. Called me radical. Listen, yes, we know he's like that woman with the hat on. Like she's just like yes, yes. Like he's called me racist. Yes. Like she just, they're just yes, yes people, yes men, yes women to any anything Trump, anything Letitia James says against Trump. Yes, yes, yes. It's like instinct for these people. And where do they find all these people to show up? And they look so happy to like, woo, Trump sucks, yeah. It's how I love to spend my life. Like these people are spending their lives just hating on Trump, I don't get it. Yes, we know he's crazy. Yeah. We know he doesn't have a sound mind. Yeah. We know he's out of control. Yeah. 
Letitia James looks out of control. Somebody left a comment saying, oh, she, well, she, she has her eyes everywhere. She's looking both west and east at the same time. We know he's losing it! We know his days are... I think you're losing it. Numbered and we will come to... His days are numbered? I mean, this is, this is kind of intense, okay? You could ask anybody. Chanting up on stage in front of all these people saying, his day, Trump, we know he's crazy, his days are numbered? That is slightly, that is mildly intense. He's called me a racist. We've got to stand up to an, an administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Isn't saying somebody's too, too pale, isn't that saying that they're too white? I mean, who, where do they find these people to, to, to say these chants? I mean, I would never, I would never want to be seen chanting about pe people and their skin color. I mean, it, it's like, it's like if I was, you know, I, let's just say I was in office and, and people went up there and say, oh, they're, he's too brown. They're too brown. Too, 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 too brown. Like, I'd be like, dude, relax. Like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I just don't really understand it at all. Uh, Joe Biden slammed Donald Trump in a recent speech. So, you know, the Trump and, and well, Trump's always been giving rally or doing speeches and rallies. And but Joe Biden is finally, finally coming out, <laughs> coming out of the basement and giving a now he's speaking. I guess he's gearing up for 2024. But a lot of people are saying he's not going to make it and that they're preparing to bring in Michelle Obama and Barack Obama for 2024. All right, a lot of people are starting to say that more and more now. And Michelle Obama, she just had a big interview that just came out yesterday talking about, oh, I'm, we're terrified with Trump 2024. This is, you know, we need to really, really care about the government. The government is great. She was like, I don't know, it was really weird, but yeah, she's saying she's terrified of the potential outcome of 2024. So anyways, I'm going to end the video there. Let me know your thoughts with Letitia James and all these updates. Thanks for watching. God bless.